Raw Chef. My name is Teresa and I am working with Moco here and we're going to be making some vegetable crackers. So these yeah. vegetable crackers um, are absolutely delicious and everything in this bowl is what goes into the crackers. So it's a very um, easy recipe. All it is is just put in the bowl and mix. So let's get Wonderful. started. Yeah. So all the cherry tomatoes. Okay, so I'll put those in for us. Okay. And she's going to read off the ingredients as I'm putting them into the food processor for us. And what's next there? Cherry tomatoes with garlic. Okay, and our garlic and is right here. And so we're going to use our garlic crusher again. Actually, you can just throw it all in there, it says. Oh, really? Well, I'm going to use the crusher because you know what I found is I really don't like to get a big chunk of garlic. So I just want to make sure that it does get mixed up. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. All right. And there's actually two garlics. I just had to find the other one. And then we'll squeeze that one into here. Okay, so the garlic is there. And all the spinach. Okay, so I'll put the spinach in. The zucchini. Okay, and I'm just going to chop the zucchini just a little bit more because I got a of bigger pieces here. It needs to be a little bit smaller. And then what's the next one? Kale. Okay, so we got our kale. Again, I'll just break it up a little bit here. And what else do we have there? We have our lemon juice. Our lemon juice, okay. And how much lemon juice do we need? There is actually one tablespoon one of tab freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay. So I think we're going to need one more lemon. So we're just kind of eyeballing this one here. Okay, so there is our lemon. Okay. And then we need our olive oil. Our olive oil, which I've already measured. And how much olive oil is? There's three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, so three tablespoons. That's in there. And then you want to add your sun-dried tomatoes mm. and onion. Okay. So with the sun-dried tomatoes, what I did is I pre-soaked these and I had soaked them for about um, two hours because if they're, um, they need to get tender. You need to kind of put moisture back into them. So I've done that. Yeah. And then some onion and I'm just gonna chop my onion again just a little bit more because we've got quite a bit of stuff in there. Okay, that's all we're gonna mix now. Put the lid on. Here comes our crack. So you just might have to stop it once and just make sure everything gets in there, but it looks pretty good so far. Okay. Vegetables are combined. They are. Mmm, smell that. Oh, that smells so delicious. So at this point, would you add salt to this? You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to um, taste it. Again, if you want to get a taste test. Mmm. Mm. That is good. But we'll add a little bit of salt. Mm. I agree. Very nice. Just to bring out those flavors. Yeah. It does. We're all amazing. So now we're going to add our um, sunflower seeds, which are here, and our pumpkin seeds. And what we have to do in this recipe is we actually have to gr um, ground them. So I'm going to pour that into here. And then we're going to get our spoon. Okay, we need uh, another spoon size. here. Yep. It's like a, yeah, it's a powder. So we're going to mix this up. And what I found is I don't mix it in my food processor. And the reason why I do that is because I actually broke my food processor mixing flaxseed. So I find what happens is that it gets too hard for the motor. The, the, it almost gets too thick and it can't blend anymore. So it's just better to use a good old spoon or use your hands, but 
take it out from the food processor. So the ground mixture that you used mm -hmm. is the ground pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and flax no, seeds? No, not together? the flax seed yet. Oh, okay. Yep. So oh. what I'm going to do is I want to show you guys what it looks like um, grinding, or grounding the flax seed. So I'm going to do a little demonstration of that. And I'm going to pour our flax seed into here. So there's two ways you could use the flax seeds. If we wanted to use them whole, we would have to soak them for about an hour. And then you can actually add it to the recipe. You drain off the water. Because if just like this, they're not, they're too, um, they, yeah, they're too coarse. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to pour it into there. And fix this guy up here. Turn this into dust, our flax seed. So we just ground it, there are flax seed here, and we need a half a cup, so I'm just going to get this out of the container here. So the one other tip I want to give is that you want to make sure your container is nice and dry, because right. if it's wet, it, you know, it just sticks to it. So, All right, so I'll Very measure this, tip. <laughs> make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, so I got my half cup, pour that in there. Flax seed. Uh, flax seed, and then did you? I'll let you mix it here. Sure. And would you like me to add the salt as well? You, um, I added a little bit before. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah. So we'll just mix it there from there. Oh, yep. If you want to give it a good mix. <laughs> Thank mm. you. All right. And then I'll just I'm gonna grab our Teflon sheet because this is gonna go in the dehydrator now. Go into the dehydrator, they do, which is the essential tool of the raw kitchen. It is, and a good dehydrator is really important. The one I'm, we're going to use today is the Excalibur, and so with these crackers, they're going to take anywhere between 15 20 hours. So that seems long, you know, most people are rushing around and you know, no time for this. But I make you know a little time before I go to bed and make my cracker batch up and then put it in my dehydrator, and then it's ready, you know, probably by the time I get home from work. Or in the middle of the afternoon but the thing is you're cooking it at such a low temperature um, you can't really overcook it right like there's yeah. no burning there's no burning burning. none at all no scorching none of that and you could probably even turn it right down too if you know well you're be 110 up. is the lowest the that lowest. you want to go yeah okay. yeah actually the other thing too which is important to know is that when you're first starting off when you're cooking like crackers you can actually turn it up to 140 because that isn't considered um, like overcooking it because a lot of with raw it's like 110 mm -hmm. you don't want to go past that but this has a lot of moisture in the beginning so the first hour if you turn it to 140 it's okay uh -huh. and then after that you turn it back down to 110 uh -huh. so you're getting out quite a bit of the moisture and then it also speeds up the process a little bit too right. and so we're just going to spread this out onto our sheet here and that is known as a, is that like a Teflon sheet? This or? is a Teflon sheet, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. here on our thing is there's two sheets here. So once this is a bit more dry, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it and flip it off of the Teflon and straight onto this sheet. Oh, yes. Okay. So the air can reach it from both ends. Exactly, yes. Edge. Yeah. But right now it's too mushy, so we got to um, put it on the Teflon. All right, so I'm just going to spread this on here. And um, you want to get it nice and evenly spread out. So with this batch, it actually will um, cover the, this full Teflon sheet. It's like yeah. a vegetable roll-up. It is, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab our spatula, because this will make it a little easier to spread this out than a spoon. So I'm just going to oh, switch over. It looks like a, almost like a vegetable dip. <laughs> so it's like your dip is in the cracker. It is, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I think I got it. It is all nicely even and spread out there. Whoops. Okay, so off to the dehydrator we go. Perfect. Look at that. That looks very good. So what I've done is I've taken the um, Teflon off of the crackers and I flipped them over onto my mesh. 
And um, now they are dried and we are ready for the finished product. So here we go. Mmm, those smell so oh, good. Oh, we've made our crackers. We're gonna enjoy them. And with these crackers, what I did with these ones, you can actually take a pizza cutter and you can actually create the lines in the um, crackers itself before you dehydrate them. Or you can just break them up into pieces. So what I've done here is I've used a pizza cutter and we're gonna create like a little pizza. So we're gonna use our cream cheese sauce, which is actually cashews. So I'm just gonna spread that on there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on my spinach. Just mix that up a little bit. And this is the cream cheese that we used We made for the kale, kale chips. chips, exactly, oh, yes. Yep, and then a little bit of tomatoes on there. And there is yours. My pizza. Your little Thank pizza. You. It was worth the wait. Oh, it's super cute. Okay, let's spray a little bit on here. And they're really healthy. Exactly, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of spinach. I'm so tempted to eat it now. <laughs> Hold on, but I can do it at the same time. Here we go, All cheers. Right, cheers to good health. Mmm. Mmm, mm. very good. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you.